Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fire and Fishing, and today we're going to be talking about my plans for this project. Alright guys, so I wanted to make this video because when I started this project, I don't think we even had 100 subscribers on this channel. So, we're about to hit 2,000, which is awesome. But a lot of people are confused on what I'm doing with this project and why I'm building it. So the reason I'm building it is because I would like to do uh, John Boat tournaments. Before this boat, I had a 12 foot game fisher and it was just too small to be able to get another person in and a live well. So I sold that project and moved up to this 16 foot fisher marine. I think originally this thing is considered like a crappie boat or just like a smaller aluminum bass boat. But it, it didn't have any compartments in it, hardly. I think it had maybe like three feet of, of storage area. And the rest was just filled with foam or just wasted space. So I gutted everything out. And the reason I consider it kind of like a bass boat is just the decking system. The way everything's laid out, all the space that I have now for compartments and holding things, uh, that's just why I consider it to be like a bass boat. However, some things that I'm going to do to this that aren't going to make it a bass boat is it's going to be electric only. So I've told a lot of you guys about this in the comments or when you guys ask me questions about it. Um, I have about six or seven lakes within about an hour and a half of me. I could only go to two lakes if I had a bass boat or I can go to like seven if I had an electric boat. And also like on most of those lakes is where these John boat tournaments are going to be held. So that was kind of my reasoning for building this electric only boat. So another reason why I wanted to make this video is because from here on out the rest of the stuff might not make sense uh, if you guys don't know the like the reason behind all this. So with all that being said, with this being an electric only boat, um, that brings me to my motor in the back. There's not going to be an outboard motor on here, I'm going to use a trolling motor. So in order to find out what trolling motor I needed, I needed to find out how much the boat weighs. I added up all the weight and I, I can't remember what it comes up to now, but I'm still within the threshold of using a 55 pound trolling motor in the back. And I added a ton of extra weight for no reason, just to be on the safe side. So to start off, I am running a 55 pound on the back of this whenever I get it. Right now I'm looking at the uh, Minn Kota Traxxas. And up front I'm going to be using the Motor Guide uh, X3, the 45 pound thrust. And I know that that's going to need to be upgraded. 45 pounds is going to be too light for this. So because I have to go bigger on my front trolling motor, at that point in time, I'm going to decide whether or not I need to change this to a 24 volt system and run bigger motors. I was talking to Michael Lopez the other day about using the 12 volt system on here and he brought up some good points as far as things like wind that are going to be a pain to use if I'm only using the 12 volt system. And I'm definitely taking all that into consideration. That's something that I don't know how bad it's going to be yet. And for me personally, the only way I'm going to know is if I try it. So I'm going to try this 12 volt system. From there on, I don't know, I could take a couple different steps. I could either add more trolling motors in the back, or I could just make it a 24 volt system and just get new trolling motors because I've already got to replace the front one. And again, this is like further down the road. I don't know, I'm going to test all this. I need to kind of figure out what I think is going to be better for my situation. But either way, all of my lights, my live well stuff, all my pumps are all have to run off a 12 volt system. So if I have to move up to a 24 volt system, at least I'll have everything connected for the 12 volt. So I think that's about what I wanted to cover. It's gonna be a 12 volt system, electric only, a 45 up front, a 55 in the back, and that leaves us with the power source. Okay, so what am I gonna be using Alright guys, so here's the battery. It is an interstate battery, a deep cycle, and this one's called the 4D. It's a 12 volt battery, but it's basically three batteries in one, still running the 12 volts. This ends up being $50 cheaper and two or three pounds lighter than having three separate batteries. But with that being said, it still weighs 117 pounds. 
so it's a monster of a battery obviously with it weighing so much that's not going to be ideal for a lot of these smaller boats but for this one it's, it should be okay I ended up making like a battery tray for it out of uh, the angled aluminum it's really hard to see but I made some cuts in there some slits for the straps that I'm going to be using to uh, hold this thing in place obviously with it weighing 117 pounds I don't want this thing moving around when uh, I'm driving down the road and that tray is just riveted to the uh, square tubing that I have underneath um, okay let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you guys a few things that I've done to the boat that I haven't put on camera yet so something else I wanted to show you guys is in here right here we have an aerator timer I figured this was kind of the best area to uh, mount that at so it's a great way to keep the fish happy when they're in the live well but not like drain your battery the other thing I wanted to show you guys is this is the original strut that I'm using for most of my hatches this was way too big to fit in here with my uh, aerator timer bracket there so I had to get a smaller one that's just a six inch strut same principle same idea just a smaller strut I'll also leave a link to these in the description if you want something smaller than this bigger one what else do I have to show you guys um here is my Lowrance Mark IV HDI. It's not the best. I had it on my other boat and I wanted to stick it in the back just so that my co-angler has, has something to kind of look at. Obviously one of my next things is going to be my electrical uh, which I'm dreading but uh, I'm still trying to get all that figured out. And so currently my trolling motor mount or box I have it made. It is in the other unit um, getting carpet so hopefully this clears up some of the questions you guys have about my project and how I'm doing things and, and what I'm going to be doing with it. So from here on out, everything should kind of make a little bit more sense as to why I'm doing it. Any links for any of the products on anything that I've been using are going to be in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching.